Dude, what if I told you I don't even really want to progress? I just want to go down, do some chill fishing, catch a few nice fellas, come back, cook them up, have a good evening, earn some money. I don't even need to spend the money, man. I don't even pay my stuff a nice, healthy wage, have some good times, and then go to bed and wake up the next day and do it again and just enjoy life. Well, no, it doesn't work that way because we have paint. That's right. There's like little DLC stuff that you can get. And one of them is it allows me to change the boat, dude. I can. Oh, so we've got we've got the original color right here. The, the Noden 68. We've got this nice big wave. We've got the Poseidon. It's purple. I might go with this. It's got a trident on it. I like tridents and I like purple. We've got the Bancho Sushi branding over here i like the branding we've got banana i he likes banana apparently we've got the diver which you know submarine themed i guess and we've got the dave supporter mm, i'm gonna go the trident one i'm gonna be that guy there the boat is now purple so what's the idea you mentioned earlier oh that what if you infiltrate the sea blue base and retrieve the mechanical part infiltrate I'm gonna infiltrate there, but hell yeah, Whoa. dude. Sea Blue folks were scouting the area using underwater drones Whoa. at night. Follow those drones and you'll find their base. Sounds dangerous. Don't worry, I'll prepare an inf infiltration suit with camouflage Whoa. patterns. It'll hide you from plain sight at night, no guarantees though. Of course not. Anyway, it's not dark enough yet, so I'll see you later when I close the bar. Ha ha ha. All right, sushi. Oh, hello there. VIP Wang Pang, the Master Chef. <gasps> Hello, everyone. This is Yui from NDC Station. It's been so long, by the way, since I've seen Yui show up. I, like, I forgot about this happening at all. I've, it's been so long. Today, I present a new program called Challenge the Chef featuring Vincent Yamaoka. It's been a long time, everyone. I am him. <laughs> the champion of the last season was Bancho, who was praised by Vincent. He'll be the defending champion today. Yes, defending champion. This season's first challenger is Wang Pang. It's my honor to be here from Hong Kong. Nice to meet you. All right, we've got our contestants. Let us begin the show. You two will compete with dishes on the same day at the same place on a given theme. Vincent will judge your dishes. Today's theme for the contest is Chinese cuisine. Well, that seems a little bit biased. This isn't good. Chinese cuisine developed many different cooking styles in its long oh. history. When we talk about Chinese cuisine, many will think of stir-fried meat and vegetables, but that's not all. There is more than that. This time, you two will compete for the dish using fish. Give me a Chinese-style fish dish. May the best oh. chef win. Why is he pulling up like he's about to fight? I heard of you and your reputation, Bancho, but I will beat you with a fabulous recipe from Hong Kong. Uh, he's issued an official challenge. This will be interesting. Yes. You know the rules, folks. We'll come back in two days to broadcast the intense competition between the two contestants in real time. Stay tuned. Amazing. There's so much stuff always happening, dude. We're gonna pull- don't do that. Are you okay? You're not familiar with Chinese cuisine, are you? No, no, I don't think he is. There's so much stuff always going on. I've got the jellyfish party coming up. I've now got a VIP cook-off competition coming up. I've got to dive down at night and get into the eco-terrorist base so that I can steal parts to build a mecha suit so I can get deeper into the glacial waters. There's so much happening. I don't need to be Chinese to compete with him. I'll use a Chinese culinary style but with a type of fish they have never tasted before. All right, what am I going to have to go and get? I can't teach him a lesson with an ordinary dish. Yeah, sure. Bring me the ingredients I want in two days. Sure, stargazers, wheat, olive oil, and eggs. Well, I can get the eggs. I think we already have a ton of olive oil. Stargazers are easy to get. It's the wheat that could be in... I think I can just buy wheat, can't I? From the farm, if I haven't already got some growing. I think I can. Ah, all my stuff that I sent over has arrived. Look at look at all of the fish. I was wondering if it's worth. I haven't actually done a a recruitment ad in a long time. Let me put out a recruitment ad. I'm gonna see if I can get some new people to show up. I've I've only got two. Man, I'm running out of stuff. I need more Titan trigger fish. Goblin shark meal that that feeds ten. 
There we go. 24 is being fed right now. I need to find some other stuff. All right, here's the menu lineup for the evening. We've got 14 servings of tropical fish, 10 servings of the goblin shark belly roast, 10 mega mouth, and six nautilus. That brings us to a nice slick 40 on the menu because I'm not sure. It's anywhere between, like I said last time, 35 and 40 or so for each full night service now. But I'm... I'm so low on my ingredients that they're, they're finally starting to drain me of all of what i've got i've got a lot of like smaller things that i can um put on the menu like the nautilus and the, the little cleone fellas but all my big stuff like my mega mouth shark my tropical fish platter yeah we're running out of those we're running out of those fast in fact i've, I've run out of the tropical fish platter i can't physically do any more of those which is awful <laughs> Let me, let me, let me. Oh, yeah, let me get that over here. Oh, wasabi. Wasabi. Let me, let me, let me help out. Clean that, clean that, clean that, clean that. Fine, I'll clean that. But I'm getting angry at me. You were angry for a microsecond. I was cleaning. I was cleaning. Man. Okay, so I might have to do more of the plate cleaning. In addition to the wasabi now, because there's just, there's too many people, dude. I'm okay with extra customers. It means more money, but man, I wanted a nice clean meal. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. You got that exactly what you wanted. Please leave good reviews. Please leave good reviews. We're doing good. I like how the, the... Why would you... Uh, it's the most expensive one that they leave five off. We sold 35. It's such a waste to leave the expensive stuff unsold. It's fine, though. We probably made a decent bit of money out of that. 17 grand. Damn, we didn't make anywhere near as much as we used to. Look, that's that day behind us, that was just all of the really expensive tropical sushi sets. We need to get more of these. The trigger fish? I need more trigger fish, dude. This should be enough. Dave, you're here. It's so dark. Are you sure there's something there? Just put on this infiltration gear. It'll help you stay unnoticed. My infiltration gear. Oh, I feel like I'm being a secret agent. <laughs> Look at him so happy. I'm a spy. I'm going to do illegal. Dressed for success. You look ready to enter dark mode. Okay, bro. Dude, I love this game. I love these developers. It's not just the references. It's the attitude, the way they put it all together. There's so much in here. Into the water now. To be roaming... Drones underwater. All right. Follow them unnoticed. They'll lead you to sea blue. Leave your weapons here. What? I want to take a rain check on the dive. I don't want to do this now. I want to go and catch the stargazers for his uh, his Chinese uh, fish fight off. Sea blue runs a tight security system with security drones and sensors. If one of the drones detects a weapon, they'll alert the base immediately. It's a covert operation anyway. Going in secretly and coming back with a mechanical part. Simple, right? Scary things in the water. Wait, do I not even have a knife? Wait, I can't even open up my menu. <laughs> Oh, fine. I am a big, fully grown, five foot six strong man. And this is a stupid pixelated ocean. That's one of the sea blue sentry drones. They don't hide them much, do they? I should follow it from a distance. Sure, let's go. I'm sneaking. This is fine so far. This is this is actually piss. Jellyfish? Uh oh. Aggressive lionfish. No, no, no. Ah! Shark! Ah! Go! Go! It's looking at me! You fucking jerk. You stupid little shit. You stupid little shit! It's fine. He left. Oh, it's getting away. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Ah. Ah, I have no weapons. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just, it's literally just here. I'm poisoned. Stupid jellyfish. I booped the top, by the way. Go back and look at the files. I booped the top, the, the non-stingy bit. A hidden entrance. Hurry before the door closes. Well, go then. Go then. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, dude. 
they're going in with these little cinematic moments. I love it. <laughs> His little legs. And no one's there to see this happen? Why would no one like be watching the water here? This isn't too big of a hidden base. What are these facilities for? Uh, for... Oh my god, they're, they're a fishing scheme. They're not worried about the... They're processing dolphin meat. They're not saving the environment at all. These sons of bitches are actually just looking to get the best buyer for the worst sale. Dolphin meat. I'm confused, aren't sea blue environmentalists? What in the world are these for? Let's find some mechanical parts for now. Um, clearly, Greenpeace is not to be trusted. <laughs> Get special suit components from the top floor. Be careful not to be caught by soldiers or cameras. Easy for you to say. Dun, dun, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> ah! dun, dun, da, da, da. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Box flip! Ooh, Barely noticed. All right, quick, 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 Up the ladder. Ah, military rations in a tin case. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ew. And there's just no one in here? Keep the sea blue. Oh, dude, look, they've got their own conspiracy board about me. Looks like an office. Contains some medical parts here. I miss my warm, clean bed at home. Keep the sea blue. Can't believe what they're doing behind everyone's back. Yeah. There's a drawing of the sea blue research. Wait. It's a picture of me. Core components of the sea blue tech suit. Looks quite complicated. We want this. Let me take it. Take it. Take it, Dave. E gets. They've got guns, Dave. Oh my God. What are you gonna do, David? No way. Damn! What a king! Quickly, Dave, before they shoot down at you. Okay, what the hell is the game turned into? This is insane. Oh, thank you. Quickly, Cobra. Start the engines. We have to leave. Now I have glass in my ass. Please. So much glass in my ass. <laughs> Dave, you came back in one piece. I sense a lack of trust in your voice regarding my survival skills. Come man, take a look at this thing. Sea Blue's mechanical part, pristine condition. Why didn't you warn me of the armed pirates? Honestly, I didn't know of their presence. Anyway, look at him just like glossing over the fact that he just had a, a super Tom Cruise moment. I found many pieces of equipment used to process and freeze fish at Sea Blue's base, and I believe they caught some dolphins as well. Isn't Sea Blue group environmentalists? Does that make them hypocrites? Knowing they've been exposed might make them more dangerous. You better be careful. Anyway, get some rest, it's getting late. I'll talk to Bacon tomorrow. Thank you. And I'm gonna go and get some of those things for the, the cook-off. The, uh, the stargazers. I need stargazers, wheat, and what? Soy? I think it was soy. What up, Baconator? I heard that you acquired an intact mechanical part. Yes, with difficulties. Take it. Good job, Dave. I have everything I need. Sure, go make the suit. I'm worried about the fact that the glacial area is unstable. I suggest you get a good weapon as well as a good suit. There's a new material developed at the lab. The dive knife can be upgraded. As usual, you can upgrade it through the eye diver. Upgrading the knife not only increases its power, but you can also mine minerals that previously could not be mined with a pickaxe. Oh, amazing. Give me a day. That's actually really, really good. I would like a dive knife upgrade. That way I can knife ore and nothing else because I never get too close. A cold resistance suit. Under what it'll look like. A suit won't be enough to protect oh. yourself. Yes, 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 okay. the weapon. I'll go ask Duff. Yay, an excuse to talk to Duff. 
You can now enhance the knife. Enhancing the knife increases base damage and allows you to gather high grade materials. Duffy! How's it going, Dave? Been a while. What can I do for you? I'm going to explore the glacial area. I'm not sure if the weapon I have will be enough. Huge glacier in the deep sea. I've heard about your mission. I planted a tracker in the gun. Could have told me that earlier. The one I can craft right now with the ingredients I have will not be that different. Unless I can get my hands on some new minerals. Dave, I know you frequent the Sea People Village. Why don't you look for new materials there? Sure, the Sea People Workshop. Great idea. Upgrade the knife. Level two. Level three. I've maxed my knife. <laughs> I have maxed my knife immediately. I want to do cargo. Level 10. Maxed cargo! I have no money left, but we have maxed the cargo. Maxed the knife immediately. We are looking good. This is the benefits of having a lot of... Wait. The VIP arrives on the same day as the jellyfish event? All right, down in Sea People Village, we got to talk to the blacksmith guy in here. And we're going to start making some new... I'm not feeling well. Ah, good enough to reopen the workshop? Good. What do you sell? A wide variety of minerals available. I'll give you a good deal on them. Thank you. Of course. I mean, it should be free, but whatever. <laughs> Who knows what to do with minerals? It'd be good to bring them to them. Yes. If you find something good in the sea, bring it to me. I'll buy it at a good price. Wait a minute. What do you buy? I might have a ton of stuff to sell to you in that case. Good to know that you're better. Keep in touch. Yeah. What, what does what does Dua buy? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can purchase ingredients to enhance weapons. Dua exchanges certain ingredients for bay. I can just, oh, that's really good. I need more bay. Hold up, hold up. Open up the workshop. Steel rope. Ice, oh my God, they're so expensive. Ice diamond. What? This is crazy coral orbs opal tubes lava disc divine tree fruit fragment i can sell almost everything <laughs> i can sell i've still got this goldfish statue dude man i forgot i had these they don't seem to sell for that much for for bay and i might buy uh, let's get the divine tree fragment it's it's i've, I've got just barely enough like <laughs> i have one bay to my name Duffy, my boy, how are you? That's a new type of mineral. How do you know when we're talking over the phone? Because I installed a CCTV on your boat? <laughs> I love this face. This is like the best day face ever. I'll work on a new weapon when the mineral arrives. I'll add the ingredients I need to the list. Secure them and let me know. I will eagerly wait for the never before seen minerals to arrive. It uses the divine tree fruit! Oh, I'm so smart. What the hell? Dunkleosteus thoracic sh thoracic shield. And rubies. I don't have I don't have any of these. I recruited a raptor. Alright, gonna keep it simple this time around with just the 35 tropical fish sushi set. They are guaranteed to all sell this time around. If they don't, then I'd be amazed. But once they do. That's fine. There's always, there's always next time, but I don't want to have my tropical fish set not actually sell out. Even like, like one of those is 900 bucks, dude. It's just, it's silly. We need these to sell. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Go, go guys, go. Let me get the, let me get the, the ones that are closer to the, yep, yep. All right, there you go. Done. Um, now we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. I am not going to have dirty plates ruin my night again. No. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to come over here. By the time I get over here, dirty plates. Ready? Dirty plates. No? No dirty plates? Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Dirty plate. Oh, another dirty plate. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Nino's a god. Oh, that's dirty plate. No, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Was that one over? It was like 36 tonight. You're the only one who didn't get a tropical sushi set. That's fine. That's good. Nothing went to waste. 
Lots of money was made. L oh my God, we're at 36. Dude, how much did we make? We sold everything. We, we That was fantastic. Oh, huge profits. How? How? Bruh, the, the demands on these people is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I was pumping that 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 customer service like you wouldn't believe. It's the VIP day, but it's also jellyfish day and it's deep sea diving suit day. Oh God, there's too much happening. It's not easy crafting a suit in one day. I'm me, so I did it. Look at it, it's cute. That looks nice. Why don't you go ahead and try it on? Oh my God, look at me. That suits you well, <laughs> suits you well. The size is perfect. Thank you, Dr. Bacon. Feels warm, maybe because it's made from the divine tree fruit cloth? With that suit, you can not only roam underwater, but also cold places freely. Time to go down to the glacial area. Is it though? Is it? Is it time? Maybe it is. So my previous suit that I maxed out has now upgraded to this suit, which I have to re-max out. Come on, man. Okay, the money is suddenly taking a dip. I've done some hiring and training of some new people who are gonna procure me some more materials during the day. They're gonna go get me some new seasonings for some new dishes that I'd like to start working on. I've expanded the farm a little bit. I've got a new row of, the, of that being built so I can get some more veggies down. And I haven't upgraded my suit at all. I've, I've spent some money. We, we've spent a bit of money. I actually think I might do the harpoon gun first. I can only go 540, but I get up to 800. Nah, fine. Give me, give me the suit. That just seems like the smart thing to do. All right, here we are. Teleporting down into the glacial area. Here's where Big Gadonga's hand is broken. And down through here is where I want to go. I'm glad they put a teleporter down here so it doesn't take me forever to get back. Um, it, it's just making life that little bit easier. Now we come down through here and... Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, I'm actually like... Holy crap, this is like... This is full-on Antarctic. I thought it would just be like a dark, cold cave kind of looking area. We're, we're full-on under... Under a bloody iceberg down here. We're, we're beneath the ice sheet. It's really warm. It's completely different from before. Time to really explore the area. I mean, it's it's wide, dude. I don't, I don't like that it's so wide. It too too. Oh Jesus! Fuck! Too soon! Too soon! It's massive. It's massive. It's huge. Ah! Ah! Fucking die! Die! Ah! Oh. God! Damn! It's right at the surface of this place. A poor beagle, a poor be, a poor shittle. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! My chest. Oh, I just got here. I just got, dude. I just got here. Ease me into this. Ease me. Okay, I need to start catching these fish though. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna catch one of you. I'm gonna catch. Oi, get back here! I'm gonna catch one of you. That thing took four shots too. It took like all of my shots just to kill one. Don't be anymore. The music is nice, though. I am very, very, very upgrading my harpoon gun when I get back. Um, I didn't even see what that was. It called it a something or other. Octopus! Octopus? He's coming at me, dude. You're not, you're not aggressive, are you? You're not gonna... Son of a bitch! He came at me just to ink at me. Little turd. Oh my god, they're so tr I need to upgrade that harpoon. I was I was saying I should upgrade my harpoon before. I really should be upgrading my harpoon. I don't know, man. I kind of like it. The the bright it's it's bright. I mean, it's it's bright bright, but it's a good kind of bright, you know? It's one of those like Yeah, Antarctic octopus. I believe you. I just need to start catching dudes, I guess, but it's going to take me a second with the harpoon gun. I want to get grade twos. I don't want to like shoot them. I don't want to one waste ammo in case there's more aggressive things I have to shoot. You're practically invisible underwater. Nah, you're not getting away. He's getting away. It's an ice fish. Wow, they really, 
They really went above and beyond society, didn't they, when they decided to name the ice fish. It is a fish that lives in ice. We would call it an ice fish. Well done. You've you've slain naming convention itself. Thankfully, I got my little buggy bud, so I can. Yeah, I didn't get one of you guys. Come here. Yes. Oh, is that the one I shot before? There's no escape. An eel pout. Dude, don't scare me with this nonsense. I hate. Ah! What the hell is it? It's a friggin' narwhal. Quick. Shoot the mythical creature. Shoot the mythical creature. Oh. Dude, there's friggin' narwhals out here. Ah! Oh. These things don't exist, by the way. It's a mythical creature. They're not real. If you think narwhals are real, you've fallen for it. Wait, there's... Oh, oh, oh. There's, there's like land over here. Dude, I'm, I'm shuddering in real life. I'm, I'm actually shuddering for realies. Just because I'm terrified as to what I'm going to find out here. Topaz! A door. There's a stone slab with text in front of the door. Take a picture for Dr. Bacon to decipher. I, I guess just that's enough. Cool. This picture looks good enough. Let me go show it to Bacon. We will go show it to Bacon. I need to get some more ammo though. I'm, I'm out of ammo and I hate that I'm out of ammo. Oh, this big open space is just... Ugh. I need, I need, I need, I need formations around me. I need, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you're gonna fall. It's like, it's the weirdest sensation for a thalassophobe to be stuck out in the middle of like open, just open expanses of sea. It's like you're gonna fall off the edge and, 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 and plummet. And I know that makes absolutely no sense, but that's like a good way to like describe it. Um, it, it's, it's kind of like, an inverse fear of heights, which which doesn't make much sense, and it is stupid, but it's like that paired with the fact that, you know, you don't know what's waiting for you further down. No! Further down. Ooh. Ooh. Some aquamarine. I like it, dude. Give me that aquamarine. Ah! What have we here? What doth this nonsense be? The current here is too strong to enter. Well, I, yes, you're right, it is. Gelatinous snailfish. Yeah, all right. That's, um, that's a name. I mean, imagine being born and you're told that you're a gelatinous snailfish. That seems kind of mean, man. That just seems mean. I do have to keep catching these, though, to finish the requirements for the whole, uh, like, investigate investigate the cold region. Man. Ooh! Ooh! The leafy sea dragon. Hell yeah, dude. My topaz is waiting for me. By the way, the music in this place. Ooh. It's a 10 out of 10, man. They've done so good on the beats. The musical... The musical variety in the game... Wait, there's, there's ammo right there, so you know what? Fuck em. Another octopus. Another octopus. Octopus. Peace. Octopus. Please die. <laughs> Please die. <laughs> He's so beefy. Oh, we're scrubbing. We're scrubbing. We're, we're... Eh, 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 eh. Wiping away. Oh, so this is like my little get out. Oh, that's how I get out of here. Right, right, right. Reminds me. I'm going to come in here. I'm gonna start dumping all the things that I caught in the uh, the other region. Oh, we're getting deeper. Whoa, 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 baby narwhal. Look at the size of that shit. Look at the size of that shit. Whoa. Just got real scary down here, dude. It just got... Nah. All right. I guess I... Oh. I feel some heat coming up. I can't go down further now. Oh, good. Ah, oh, I mean, ah, oh, damn. What a what a shame that I can't go any further down. It's like this is the end of the glacial area and that's the beginning of the next... Ah, oh, what a shame. Damn. Damn, and I was so... Super desperately waiting to see what was further down. I was, I was chomping at the bit, dude. I was like, damn, I can't wait to get down there. Man, the game just would have to 
blue ball me like this, wouldn't it? Haha, <laughs> get it? It's cold. That's fine. Oh, what's that? My bags are full. I've got all the fish that I need and my escape is right here. <laughs> Why, you shouldn't have offered me the ability to get out of here right now. Please go away now. Man, who would have thought? Dr. Bacon, I bring so much news. I discovered so many things. You have no idea. Take a look at this picture. An ancient stone slab of the sea people. <gasps> it's very old and poorly weathered. No matter. Should be enough to run the decoding equipment with. Can you hold that picture for a moment? What? What? What, what am I... <laughs> I'm scrubbing the picture. You know, initially I thought I was just scanning letters and then I looked over to the other side and I'm like, no, I'm scrubbing the tablet. I'm cleaning. There we go. Scan that tablet. Scan it, yes. Hit it with that eye toy goodness. Yeah, oh, oh, they like that, yes. Who's a good tablet? Who's a good tablet? I can read them, how lucky, what a relief. If only technology was that fun in real life, I hate it. <laughs> Seems to be a sort of spell. Could it be a spell to stop the current from blocking me from leaving the area? It's hard to decipher them clearly. Why don't you ask the sea people? Must be someone who has knowledge of cryptography or spells. I'm sure we have all the knowledge with, with King Tezen? Tezen? What's his name again? An ancient spell that even Dr. Bacon can't decipher. <gasps> I remember seeing many old books in the Sea People Temple. Niamo may be of help, of course, the librarian. Oh, 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 we're getting Ro? We're getting Ro? Narwhal Ro? <gasps> we're in there, dude! We're in there! We're breeding Narwhal! Mythological creature. Bring a Narwhal up to the surface. I... <sighs> what? Oh, 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 oh. Right here, Mr. Beluga. Ah, All right, Mr. Beluga, thank you for the ride, but I gotta go in here on my own. Swam, what are you doing here? Are you reading a book? <laughs> are you surprised? My keen analytic abilities come from the books I read. Long time no see human, I was sorting books. How can I help you? Can you take a look at this picture? It looks like an ancient spell, but I can't understand what it means. Hmm, I can roughly understand it. Where was this stone slab located? in front of a large closed door in the glacial area. I see, according to the book, there are three large doors in the glacial area, and inside those doors is a switch that will lead to the Divine Tree Control Room. I did an analysis and found that the earthquakes are caused by the Divine Tree Control Room. Activate all the switches and you'll be able to access it, yay! That's not gonna be easy, how am I supposed to open the big door? I have materials referring to the door, let me see. Here it is, you need to cast a spell. But I don't speak the language of the sea people. Of course not. Then why don't you bring Swarm with you then? Swarm, you say? Human, you can do nothing without me, haha. -ha. Well, it looks like you're in trouble. I'll give you a hand this time. I'm not so sure about this. Best of luck to you, Swarm. May King Long's protection be with you. Stop worrying about me. Just lead the way, human. Yes, 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 yes. I am amazing after all. Are you just gonna take us straight there? Wait, are we just going straight to the door? Oh, we are. Cool. Thank you. Terrifying. That means there's stuff behind me that I don't like. This must be the door. I'm supposed to cast the spell Nyamo taught me. Watch and learn, human. Oh, oh he's doing the dance, too. He's doing the full... Oh, damn, he's doing the jig. He's doing the thrusts. Look at him clapping. I'm so good. The door really opened. I'm impressed. Now you realize my greatness. You said it was a spell and you had to dance as well to open it? That's, I mean, I needed to dance to keep with the beat. Shall we go inside and check out the place? My waist hurts from the dance. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone. Of course. Of course. But first, materials. Because I'm a material girl living in a material world. Seahorse! New region? Wh wh why you shouldn't have. I'd love to go to a new region without anything that I- I forgot to buy stuff from Cobra. Damn it, there must be a switch to operate the Divine Tree Room inside. My gut feeling is this passage will cause me trouble, but I have no choice. Be careful. A piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. I can start it myself. Yes, good. Go start it. 
It's a revolving door. Okay. Oh. What the hell, dude? The equipment is working and the stake began moving. I must avoid them. This is so normal. This is exactly what I would expect from a... A sea people. I'm gonna wait right here. From a sea people defense mechanism. Jade! I need this. I need this to live. Pulling out weapon, don't trust open space. It's a very open space. Passage down there is blocked by ice. I should do something with this rotating equipment. What's my goal here? What am I achieving? What are we, what are we looking to obtain here? Wait, is this a giant... Wait a minute, is this like a pachinko machine? What the hell am I looking at here? It is! It's a goddamn... Ice, okay. Don't kill yourself, Dave. Okay, okay. I didn't know what I was looking at for a second here. Alright, this is... This is fine. This is doable. We do this. The boulder's gonna run. Actually, this should be fine. Right? This should be it. That actually should be all I need to do. Fall off the side. And then you hit there. And then you fall down here. And smash. <laughs> Good! The ice is broken. Time to go down. How about we don't, David? David, how about we don't go any deeper? Actually, it's very lucky that I upgraded the suit at least once. I think I'd be hitting my depth limit by this point and I'd be stuck and I wouldn't be able to finish the mission. Uh-oh. Fish? In my underwater game? Friggin' fish, dude. I've never- <gasps> They're aggressive! What the hell are you and why are you aggressive? Die! Die! Fucking die! You <laughs> please die! Death approaches! You Arctic Telescope Fish. That's a stupid name. A statue to King Long! This is the statue of King Long. It looks somewhat strange. His pose is different from that of King Long depicted in the mural. Maybe that means I need to fix. Let's fix up Long. Okay, left arm looks right, head looks right. It, it must be the hand. It must be the hand that's the problem right now. What's the main issue with the hand? Oh. <laughs> it wasn't up enough. There we go. Ding! You did it, David. Oh, door number one. Yeah, that looks like a place you want to go, right? This looks like exactly the kind of area that you would want to exist in. Why the hell would you be there? Wow, is this really the ancient sea people's technology? Impressive. I hear noise from afar. Must be the first contraption Yamo told me about. You're not going to leave me down here, right? Am I going to get a, an easy way to leave? Uh-oh. King Long? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch you, but oh dear. Jesus Christ, Dave Duck. His ancient knowledge. Oh my god. He's firing a solar beam straight from the dome. Yeah, okay. When can I get a gun that shoots a giant divine tree fruit laser? Let me return to the village and tell Tenzin about this. And I'm hungry. No, no, seriously. I need to be able to shoot a giant divine tree fruit laser gun. Like an actual solar beam just Pew! I mean, it, it doesn't do any damage to people, but... Um, we could refine it. We have the technology. We could make it super destructive. Alright, back in Glacial Area. My bags aren't full. It'd be a total waste to, um... Leave without getting anything, you know, just a wasted dive. So I'm gonna cruise around cold place again. Maybe find another narwhal. Maybe find another one of those... Friggin' sharks. Here we go. Bang. 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 I've killed a baby narwhal. Oh god. Oh god. Piss. Piss balls. Shit and dicks. Ooh! Ooh! Need ammo. Need ammo. Need. Need. Need ammunitions. Bang. 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 Bang! Woo! 
Okay, it looks as though the fire sniper is not doing its fire damage under here because it's too cold, which makes total sense, but at the same time... ...is a little bit bullshit. Wait, ice gun, a gun that fires frost bullets. It can stack coldness to freeze targets and inflict damage when followed up with attacks from other weapons. What? Ah, a bone chilling gun that can freeze anything. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh. That's savage. Okay. I understand. I I understand the mission. Oh. But this doesn't do any damage. Like it... It slows them down, but it doesn't do any actual damage to the enemy. Back to my good old sniper rifle we go. Wait, it's just Red Sniper 3. I didn't bring my Flame Sniper down. That's why it's not doing the job. Oh my god. Terrified because I'm... Dude, it's so open out here. Don't. 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 Hell is that? Narwhals? Ah, huge jellyfish. What was its name? Lion mane or something? Anyway, it's a giant jellyfish to glacial. I must take a nice photo. Let's take a pic. Yeah, sure. Great time for a picture up. Let's let's go do it. Um, Captured the picture with the narwhal. There you go. Narwhal, jelly, all together. Happy family. Nice. That was a good shot. It's, it's moot. Run. Run. David. You scared me. Even in such a cold place, there is still something for such a big creature to eat. The deep sea really is a mysterious place. Yeah, shut up, Dave. Let's get out of here. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I, I like it here. This is a very charming and lovely location with only the most charming and lovely of local wildlife and citizens of of a charming wonderful delightful nature this is just it's it's i'm but i'm doing it but i'm doing it come back here you little bitch i am not afraid Ooh. look 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 stuff and another way to get out excellent I've discovered another way to get out. This is the best. And we have the black coral that I was meant to find apparently at some point. Cat food. Ah, oh, this is the best. This is the, ooh, the flame triple axle. Nah, I'm not fast. <gasps> Seahorse, Seahorse, new species. It is. Ah, oh, amazing. I'm very afraid. I'm afraid of the open sea. This group of little fish swimming around are new to me. It's a capelin. Sweet Jesus, it just keeps going deeper. Why is it getting deeper? We don't need to go deeper. We need to go more shallow, please. It just keeps getting deep. Oh. It keeps getting deeper. An ocean. What? Was it a, 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 a quahog shell? A, a quahog shell? What the hell is a quahog? Oh, oh, oh. Are these ancient creatures? Must have been released from the melting glacial ice. I wonder if those are of any use to Bancho for his sushi place. Nah, can't get any further down. Man, but there's a cool... Doesn't matter. There's a cool little shrimpy prawny looking thing right there. Oh. 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 Ah! Ah! What the fuck is that? Oh, it's fucking enormous! Jesus Christ! Oh! Oh, fuck me! 
Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Greenland shark. Oh, even your name is a lie. It's not even green. Leaving. Leaving. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, where was the. It's not here. It's further up, isn't it? I don't want to be here anymore. I wish to leave. I want to leave the deep. Don't want to be here anymore. Wish to leave now. Please let me go. Wanna be on dry land. Wanna put my feet in the sand. Do you know what I'm saying? Please tell me you understand. Let me out of here. Yes! I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm leaving. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't want to be here anymore. And I got some of his row. Well, that's lovely. Udo, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? <gasps> a giant jellyfish. The tentacles look like a lion's mane. Like, who Who the hell sees... Who the f... What? Bruh. Did you hear something growling? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You can't hear anything underwater. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Tell that to whales. They hear stuff. I got a bonus. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you. Yes, I know. Shut up. I get it. I get it. Wrap things up and head over to Bancho Sushi. Hey, look at that. There's still a bit of Korean left in the game. Hell yeah. <laughs> like the Korean golden skull. And now I believe what I want to make, I think, is onion, right? Like I want... Yeah, this right here, the humphead parrotfish curry. Parrotfish are relatively easy to find. They're they're a, a first area creature, but the recipe is only at level two and it already sells 487 and it serves four people in a single serve, which I mean, it's immediately more expensive than like the mega mouth dish. It's more expensive than a lot of them. So if I start growing a ton of onions and get some turmeric going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's VIP visit day. He's here. Luckily for me, I had all of those ingredients prepared ages ago. Here we are. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown in Challenge the Chef. Barn Show, are you ready? Of course. Wang Pang, the same. I can't wait. Look, he's about ready to kick my ass. Let's begin Challenge the Chef now. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. It's happening, dude. It's happening. They go so far with this. It's incredible. Begin. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting. Bancho will compete with a famous chef in a new TV show. Let's bring him the ingredients he asked for. What? What am I doing? Nah, what? Uh, okay. Okay. I was waiting for the lettuce to change. Prep the onion. Onion, go. Begin. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lovely. Prep the star. Jesus Christ, that's an ugly looking fish. Prep the stargazer. And. Ha! Huh. And uh, 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 cut the fish meat into bite sizes. There. What? I'm sorry, I was mashing. Coat the fish. Okay, okay. I like it, dude. I like it. What am I? Oh. Is it coated yet? There we go. It's... Yeah, yeah, okay. This is not good. My time is running out. Yes. 
quickly quickly now quickly now this is the hardest one it's it's really it's i know i know quick 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 what do you mean four out of six that should have been five impossible impossible it won't end like this yes it won't end like this i got you barn show Fry the fish in oil. I can, dude, 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 dude. You think I can't fry? I'm, I'm a master fryer. No! Do it again. I tapped it. I No! What the fuck do you mean? No! I, oh. Right. That one mistake from before is going to screw me. I'm stir- dude, you wouldn't believe my stirring abilities. I stir the pot on a daily basis. The deep fry. No! Mine looks whack! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm so mad, man. I pressed enter to like skip the, the text on the screen and it caused me to tap it and I dipped it and brought it right back out. Yes! Yes! Despite the fact that my my fish was deep fried for all of half a second, practically not even not even don't even mention that it was meant to be fried. A 93 score? Good. Good. Eat ass. That's right. That's right. Would have been a hundred if I just hadn't messed up the stupid deep fry. I lost, but I'm the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent. You used the finest ingredients for flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But barn shows, it gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. Barn show gave me a perfect blend. See, perfect, I didn't even make a mistake, dude. Of the interesting and fresh taste of Stargazer and the classic taste of the sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking only about the taste, yours was better, Wang Pang. But I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. My final verdict is Bancho. Congratulations. <gasps> Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Bancho wins the match. Bancho, what are your thoughts? My thoughts? I wanted to present that. Thank you, Bancho. The champion saves words for more action, and we love it. Today's winner of Challenge the Chef is Bancho, the defending champion. What a competition. What a judgment. See you next time. This was reporter Yui. Damn, I'm good. Amazing Barn Show, you bested him in the in his area of expertise. Who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavor is fair game. Why do I have this feeling that the show will return again? I have full confidence in your victory. Speaking of the contest, I got some new inspirations for Chinese cuisine while preparing for the competition. I'll write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Fantastic. Some cash, some likes. The money is nothing compared to what I pull in on the regular. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Jesus. All right, seeing as how it's jellyfish night, I'm gonna sell a little bit of these uh, sea grape jellyfish sushi rolls and some comb jelly sushi. They don't sell for a tremendous amount, but I think I get more like positive reviews and my like general experience towards upgrading, like my likes go up more from this. So uh, let's post the world's best jellyfish party i've got 37 on the on the menu that should be plenty hello sirs madams and look at all of these jellyfish goers looking for some of that good stuff yes yes enjoy enjoy i'll, I'll bring you your, your your meal there you go uh-oh wasabi 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 yes 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 Excellent service. 10 out of 10. Only the greatest. Dirty plates, dirty plates. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. This drink? Dude, do the beer. Do the beer. Do the be Thank you. I'm not doing the beer. I'm keeping an eye on wasabi. I'm keeping an eye on... Uh, on everything else. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I'll do the front, you guys do the back. You're faster than me. Yeah. I can do that. Yep. Give me that. Give me that. Yep. Yeah, da, 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 da. Over here, over here, over here. Yep. Ah, day plate. God, he's so fast. I got this. I got this. Get them, get them out. Get them out. Oh my God, we're running out. We're running out of meals. We're running out of meals. Oh, done. We've got one left. Dude. Oh, have we, have we one left oh that was that's that's been timed out very well that's actually been timed out very well oh nice it was almost perfect there's no way i didn't earn that much money though <laughs> it was not very expensive i should be getting more expensive jellyfish recipes i guess 5.7 damn although a flawless five out of five score Look at those fans. Look at those adoring fans. Udo, my guy. Can I have a moment with you? You are that reporter from before. Do you need help with something? What do you mean, that reporter from before? We know who this is. We talk to him daily. Thanks to your help, my boss entrusted me with a new project. I'm sure a promotion will be in order. Anyways, tell me, sir. Have you seen extremely novel fish inside the giant blue hole? There are fish from many different locales in there. What do you mean by novel? I mean, very peculiar fish, the sort no one has ever discovered before. Our magazine has a secret weapon, the fish radar. It tells us that this blue hole is a treasure trove of undiscovered species. The weekly fish are planning a series of specials over the next few months to showcase these precious new fish. It's called the Catch Them All Project, I swear to God. We can research the fish on the weekdays. And if you can catch specimens for us over the weekends, they'll be featured in the specials that we'll pu publish in the weekly fish every Monday? Ooh! Yes, we'll have to catch them, of course. You're kind of the only diver in these parts, aren't you? Not really following your logic here. In any case, as you have to have, as we have to have the issues ready by Monday, you'll have to catch the specimens by Sunday evening at the latest. That's tomorrow. Let's get down to business. The fish we spotted with the radar this week. What the hell is that picture? How do you know what I want? I want these. I'm not giving them to you. I want them. A horned parrotfish. The location is close to the boat wreck. That's what I can detect. I'll give you this fish tracker. If there's a fishmon you need to catch nearby, it'll vibrate and play a sound. Don't be surprised. Guess what this device can do? It allows you to see all the information about fish, even while diving underwater. You can see your best grade fish, how many fish you have in your restaurant, and fish farm, and more. Yeah, is that right? How is that possible when I didn't link my device yet? A bit clueless, aren't you? By the way, good luck then. That's still su Sunday or tomorrow evening to be precise? Strange creatures will sometimes appear. They're called fishmon. They are anything but easy to catch. Get information from the journalist Udo who comes on Saturdays. There's even newer... Please don't. From now on, you can use fish tracker underwater. Use this device to count the number of ingredients from the fish farm and sushi restaurant. You can check the greater fish you catch while you're still in the water. And there we go, dudes. I'm going to wrap up another one. We've made it down into the glacial area. We have found some nice new delights that we can capture and bring back. I say delights loosely because some of them are rather spooky, but we have found the elusive mythical narwhal, which doesn't really exist. <laughs> but we have managed to build the suit and are getting down to the glacial area and we are getting further and further. I have no idea how much longer the game has in it. There seems to be another entire biome further down that's too hot to go to, let alone too cold, but this one's now too hot underneath all of that. There's new things to be captured, new boss fights to be had, and whole new systems getting added. We've now got a, a rare fish tracker that's gonna help us go out and find rare mutated fish dredge style that we then bring back for, for review. The game just keeps adding more. This is like 50 games in one set in the premise of it being a diving game. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed going on a cold swim with me and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.